all this muscle in here is still anterior thigh compartment and it's kind of all leading up to this point um, up in this region where and it's act, it's it's always higher than I think it's going to be um, when I'm looking for that <laughs> anterior is. superior iliac it's spine. I mean, it's like halfway up his torso. Exactly. Um, but like, <laughs> like it, it's pointing right there towards it for me. But right here is where I can feel the iliac crest. And then right there is where the iliac crest ends at the anterior superior iliac spine. Um, so this is sort of where, uh, well, it's a landmark for the inguinal region. Mm -hmm. um, and for the inguinal line, inguinal ligament, which we, I think we define in class as the point at which abdomen ends and leg begins. Right. Or, th or thigh begins. Um, but also is an important attachment point for the sartorius muscle that comes down. The tensor fasciolata muscle that you were talking about from the posterior mm -hmm. side um, has its attachment from the, from the anterior superior iliac spine. Um, and is part of that femoral identification of the femoral triangle as well. Um, the muscles in this compartment, um, you know, they look like a solid mass, um, but we've got the sartorius that has that long serpentine path um, behind the knee, um, and then the different vastus muscles. Um, I'd like you to show me how to tell the different vastus muscles apart, because um, that's not something I feel like I've ever been able to do. It just all feels like the same muscle to okay. me. Okay. So if you start down before the tendon becomes muscle mm -hmm. completely, you're going to have an easier time uh, feeling the difference. So rectus, uh, rectus femoris, mm -hmm. right, Yep. Uh, is right here. Mm -hmm. And you can feel that. You can feel the difference between rectus femoris and vastus medialis and vastus lateralis because rectus femoris is more tendon right here mm -hmm. and the vastus muscles are coming down with that those oblique Angle fibers. fibers yep yep. Mm -hmm. yep so those oblique fibers uh, can be very interesting one of the things that we do if we're going to be um, helping a muscle feel better is separate the fibers of that muscle so that blood and lymph fluid can flow through there again mm -hmm. really well and so uh, cross fiber maneuvers are part of what we do to do that and normally um, I guess I was thinking that the muscles kind of all run like yeah, this just looked at it, that's, what <laughs> that's what you would yeah. think and um, but these are actually coming this way so to do cross fiber on these muscles takes this kind and so again if you want to do cross fiber uh, massage to vastus medialis, likewise, you're going to have to go, you know, kind of in this direction. Does that feel good? Yes. Am I pushing sure. too hard no, for you? No, it feels good. Okay. 